the parking space is far from your car, it would be easier to park by driving into the space. When choosing a starting position for parking, you should bear in mind that when the car is in forward motion, it is less maneuverable. Hence, it makes sense to stay away from the parking space. At least two widths of your car must be between the car and the parking space. The farther you are from the parking space, the easier it is to park. Note that if you drive up to the parking space from the left, you have to go into the oncoming traffic lane, otherwise you won't be able to take the correct starting position and drive in. Parking in a bay in forward motion is done the same way from the left and the right side. We will discuss parking with the left turn. We will be guided by the car park in the next parking spot. The driver moves straight forward and looks at the left side mirror. When the mirror is in line with the headlight of the car in the adjacent space, the driver turns the steering wheel all the way to the left. The car turns in the direction of the parking space. Pay attention to how our car's back end is located in relation to the space. The difficult moment here is that if we do nothing and continue to move, we will fail to fit into the dimensions of the parking spot. To avoid this, the driver proceeds as follows. When the front corner of the car is inside the parking space, the driver turns the wheel to the right and he directs the corner of his car to be parallel with the car park next to it. When the back end of the car ends up in the middle of the parking space, the driver turns the steering wheel to the left and gets the car parallel to the marking line. This method requires some training because the driver has to be familiar with the outer dimensions of his car and to realize how the car is located in the parking place. Mm -hmm.